वेलकम टू एक्सलेंस ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कीप स्माइलिंग कीप साइनिंग दिस इज अ लेक्चर टू ऑफ चैप्टर वन बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आई हैव टू एक्स यू क्वेश्चन दैट इज व्हाट इज द टाइप ऑफ सॉइल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द सॉइल फॉर्मेशन सॉइल मे बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड सॉइल सेकेंड वन इज रेसिडल सॉइल so first one is transported soils what is transported soil soil will not reside on the parent rock the soil after the disintegration after the weathering the soil will not stay at the parent rock or not reside at the parent rock so where it will be goes it will be transported by water air ice and by gravity so then come to second one residual soil so residual soil is the soil which reside at the parent rock or at the rock bed so let's know elaborately about the types of transported soil the first type of transported soil is alluvial soil so let's know about alluvial soil alluvial soil is formed by suspension in running water it formed by physical weathering and is a transported soil it is found across the river banks this is a typical figure from which will be understood how it will be formed the floated running water carries soil particle with them and uh, due to the, the settlement of particles the soil particle will be settled at the bed surface of the river let's see the picture and video and get an idea about how this alluvial soil will be fun the second classification of transported soil is lacustrine soil it is formed by suspension in still water from lakes generally present in mp and rajasthan it is a transported soil it will be formed by physical weathering let's visualize the formation of lacustrine soil by the pictures and the videos given the third classification of transported soil is marine soil it is deposited from sea water and it is found in coastal regions let's understand it through pictures and videos fourth classification of transported soil is aeolian soil and also called as sand dunes we might may be seen in the desert areas and it is transported by the blowing winds where it will be found it will be found in arid and semi arid regions so let's understand it by the pictures and videos so due to blowing winds sand dunes are transported from one place to another place let's understand it by the animation fifth one is glacial soil or talus so what is it glaciers carry with them soils varying in size from fine grain to huge boulders soil get mixed with ice and are transported far away from their original positions drift is a general term used for the deposits made by the glaciers it is found in jammu and kashmir and ladakh areas
let's understand it by the pictures and videos and get an idea about how this glacial soil will be formed. This is a example video of Tibetan Plateau. Sixth one is Lois soil. What is Lois soil? It is a uniformly graded wind blown silt cemented slightly by calcium compound or montmolonite. It is also known as collapsible soil because it is transported by the means of wind and it will be get smaller in size due to obstruction of wind and slowly slowly it will be reduces in their sizes and finally the dust are combined or cemented at a point or place and then it will be dropped due to the its gravity and this is the example picture from which we will be understood how it will be happen Let's see, this is some pictures of low soil at the site. The last classification of transported soil is colluvial soil. So let's see how it will be formed. So it will be formed due to transportation by gravity and generally found in Himachal Pradesh. So let's see how it will be formed by the pictures and this video by which we will be get an idea about the situation how it will be formed the first classification of residual soil is mal soil it is finely grained calcium carbonate soil of marine origin which is formed due to decomposition of plants and bones of animals it is residual soil subjected to chemical weathering and it is found in coastal areas and iceland Let's understand it through picture and video. The second classification of residual soil is top soil. It is a soil which will formed due to volcanic eruption. It is finely grained cemented volcanic ash and it transported by the wind and water. Let's visualize it through pictures and videos. Top soil is the soil which will be transported by the wind water after volcanic eruption will be occur. The third classification of residual soil is bentonite soil. It is formed due to volcanic eruptions formed by chemical weathering and it consists of high percentage of mount morillonite. We can be understand it th through by these figures. Let's see, soil which will be stay at the places of volcanic eruption is called a bentonite soil and which will be carried out by the water and uh, wind is called a top soil. We can see the below figure to understand clearly.
द फोर्थ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रेसिडल सॉइल इज ब्लैक कॉटन सॉइल इट इज ए रेसिडल सॉइल फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम बासल्ट पोजिशेस एक्सेस ऑफ माउंट मोरिनोनाइट डार्क इन कलर एंड इट इज वेरी सुइटेबल फॉर ग्रोइंग कॉटन दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज ब्लैक कॉटन सॉइल इट इज ब्लैक इन कलर एंड we can see from this figure due to contains higher percentage of mount monoenite it shows high highly swelling and shrinkage properties suitable for growing cottons the fifth classification of residual soil is laterite soil it is formed due to leaching that is washing out of silicious compound and deposition of ferrous and aluminum oxide due to the present of ferrous oxide or aluminum oxide color will be red that's why it is called as red soil and it is found in western ghats and eastern ghat due to chemical weathering it will be formed These are the typical figure of laterite soil. The next classification of residual soil is mock soil. It is mixture of inorganic and organic particles which is black and decompose found in marshy or swampy area and after overflow of river its example is sundarban The seventh classification of residual soil is peat soil. It is highly organic, vegetable matter of decompose, gives peat soils. It is also gives bad smells. These are the figure of peat soil. The next classification of soil is cumulus soil. It is a mixture of mock and peat soil. And the ninth one is loam soil. It is also mixture of clay, silt, and sand. These are the figure of loam soil. The last classification of residual soil is. gumbo soil it is a black color sticky plastic soil not necessarily organic it may be of different it may be organic or inorganic these are the pictures of gumbo soil Thanks for watching please like share and comment
एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब